uh, one of my favorites, the Italian Spinoni. In Nostricana, Meda del Gadevole. Four years old, this is a bitch uh, who was judged today by Janet Neal. And, and quite a unique shape in this breed. Don't think it's got a sort of dip in its back. That sort of hinge in its back is functional. There's a slight break in the vertebrae to give it a slight break in the top line. A wonderful human expression which we can see there. Soft, almost melting, it says. So, decision time for the first cut. And the Bracco Italiano yes, comes in. He went very stylishly. I'm not surprised at that at all. He's going Passing a good number of breeze. They're pulling in the Spinoni. Lovely. And your pointer, Frank, you'll be delighted with that. And there's the flat coat coming out. And the Goldie. Huge round of applause for the Goldie. Big fan clubs here from the Golden Retriever today. That beautiful little Cocker Spaniel coming in. And I think the Irish Water Spaniel comes in as well. And the Welsh Springer. So, uh, and now we have our first cut. Ron James congratulating those leaving the ring. I think that's a lovely gesture. Everybody in there getting yes. their congratulations because the achievement is making it to this point. Yes. Getting pulled out to this final eight, okay, it's thrilling, it's fantastic, but just to win Best of Breed at Crufts Absolutely. is worth so much yes. to all of these exhibitors. Yeah. There's our Bracco, the Spinoni. Two related breeds, two Italian breeds, the lovely pointer, and there's the... the, the Never stop wagging its tail, the flat coat. Now, have you got your eyes on anything here yet, Jessica? Well, I have to confess, I love this Bracco Italiano. Yes. That dog is so stylish. The type in the head, the construction, he's a real show dog. And this elastic, far-reaching gait, and again, a significant top line he's got. This relatively thick in the neck, but lovely striding. There is All the way around the absolutely. ring. Absolutely. I think that is a beautiful show dog. Look at now he's extending his stride. The power in the movement, you can see that gun dog working oh. all day long. I think he'll be in the top four. Let's, leave it. Let's see. Now the lovely Spinoni. That is a really beautiful Spinoni. She's got everything. She's got the type, she's got substance in that bone. Beautiful top line. And, and the front movement, quite quite correct for the front movement. It's a sort of pounding trot, they call it in the breed. There's a heaviness about them. I now she gets her chance. Yes. Look at her head comes up. And she's wagging her tail, enjoying herself, putting in a lovely performance. Spinoni are not about flashiness. They're about an understated glory. And that metronome tail action. And here comes the stylish pointer. So he's a very free-moving dog, and I'm glad that uh, Ron likes him too. So. A real crowd pleaser too. You yeah. could hear the round of applause up. Now we'll see the pointer move. Clean lines, symmetrical curves to him. Absolute freedom from exaggeration. Look at the length of stride in front. Now, here. A round of applause for the flat coat, and smiling face, and wagging tail, stylish dog. And I think he'll have to go close. He's a remarkable for nine years old. You know, they're a late maturing breed. They can go on a long time. But this dog loves his game, doesn't he? And he shows his temperament. Yes. You can see the temperament of the dog. Mm. You, you, you love to spend time with that animal. And also from Scotland, the flat coat from Scotland, the golden retrievers from Scotland, they've had the pointers from Scotland, they've had a good show, these gun dogs. Worth the miles mm. and the enormous mm. diesel costs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A nice wide arc for the golden retriever, showing to best advantage the dog she has on the lead there. And there's the lovely little cock. I'm glad she's, she made the short list last year in the gun dog group. So what an achievement to do it twice. There. And looking every bit as good as I remember her looking last year, which is a phenomenal achievement for the handler, putting her in the ring in such glorious yes, condition. Merry cockatail. 
And here's the other crowd pleaser here. I think this is going to go close as well. So uh, beautiful specimen of the breed. And putting on a very good performance. You know, at this stage, they should all be good specimens of the breed. This last bit where they put on a performance, they go well, the handlers keep their cool. This is, makes the difference. This feels like one of the most exciting final lineups I've seen in the Gundog group for a number of years. Yeah. Really, really good quality dogs. And here's the last of them, the Welsh Springer Spaniel. Yeah. Carrying that tail really and, well. You know, absolutely level with the back, which is a, a hallmark of Spaniel breed type and beautiful rich chestnut colour. He had a very good career as a young dog, uh, just coming up into the senior classes now, and he's topped the lot today. So we've seen our final cut all getting the chance to move again. Now it's down to Ron James to choose the gun dog group winner for 2011 and the first of our best in show finalists. Are you going to stick your ne neck out, Jessica, here? I think it'll probably be either the flat coat or the Irish water, although I would love it to be either the Spernoni or the Bracco. So you may well be right, but... Uh, we know who you're rooting for. And there it is. There, 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 <laughs> there is the, the flat coat. coat. Marvellous win. Marvellous win for this dog. Almost everything a dog can win. And there... It's the Irish Water Spaniel taking second place. Oh, I'm feeling like gloating now. <laughs> Marvellous. And the Cocker Spaniel, another of my favourites, goes third. Where's he going for fourth place? The Golden Retriever. But we have our group finalist. Our group winner for 2011 is the flat-coated retriever, show champion Verbose the Kentuckian, nine years old and topping this phenomenal group. Yeah, so he'll be coming back on Sunday to uh, compete for best in show. And I would have thought he'd be in with a shout, wouldn't you? Well, he's, he's a marvellous show dog, marvellous specimen of the breed. And Still raring to go, quite unflustered by all the excitement. Well, he reckons he deserves it. <laughs> all he's interested in is the liver in that man's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> that must be such a wonderful moment to lay your hands on a Crufts Group trophy. And I know this dog's a top winner, and I know he's done it all, but nothing takes away from that moment. No. And after the break, I'm going to...